Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and CEO of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association and President of Samaritan's Purse, the Reverend Franklin Graham. Good evening. I've got the hardest job tonight. I have to follow Hulk Hogan. But I stand here tonight as a private citizen who loves this country. I've been asked to say a few words and then to pray. And we're going to do that. Last Saturday in Butler, Pennsylvania, President Trump had a near-death experience, no question. But God spared his life. And when we go through those experiences, it changes us. It can cause us to examine our lives and to reevaluate our priorities, as you should. When President Trump rose from that platform he rose with his fist raised in strength, showing America his unshakable resolve to fight for them in this nation. I cannot explain why God would save one life and allow another one to be taken. I don't have the answer for that. But one thing I do know is that God loves us and he wants us to be with him in heaven one day. And that's through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shouldn't perish but should have everlasting life. For as long, for as, long as I've known the President Trump, I've found him to be a man of his word. Things that he said he'll do, he did. When he told me and our country in 2016 that he was going to appoint conservative justices, guess what? He did. In 2016, he said he would defend religious liberty. And guess what? He did. In 2019, I was with him at the United Nations when the first president of history of this country stood there to advocate for religious liberty worldwide. When American citizen and Pastor Andrew Brunson was being held in a Turkish jail on false accusations, President Trump demanded that he be released. And he applied economic pressure and sanctions until they did that. I'm grateful and thankful for what he did as a 45th president of the United States. And I know that as the 47th president, he will keep his word to the American people to make America great once again. It's an honor for me to be asked to pray for Donald Trump this evening. And so what I'd like to do, I'd like us to pray, but I'd like us all to stand as we call upon the name of the God of heaven. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening with grateful hearts. Thank you for saving the life of President Donald J. Trump. In his own words, it was you and you alone who saved him. We pray for the others that were injured on Saturday, for the family who lost their loved one. Put your loving arms around them. Comfort them. And may they sense your presence. We stand before you tonight. We say thank you for the provisions you have given to the United States of America. You have blessed this country more than any country in the world. Sadly, as a nation, we have forgotten who is responsible for all the freedoms, the liberties, and the bounty that we enjoy. It has all come for you. Thank you. This evening, our nation is in trouble. We're divided politically, racially, economically with millions of people seeking refuge and hope in our dry and thirsty land. You're the only one who can fix the complexity of the problems that we face today. 
We pray for President Trump, that you would give him wisdom, strength, and a clear vision for the future of this nation and the task that is at hand. Continue to protect him from his enemies. I pray that you would surround him with men and women who will give him sound counsel and guidance. We pray for Melania, for Barron, and for all the President Trump's children and grandchildren. We pray for Senator J.D. Vance, his wife, Usa, along with their young family. We're thankful for his strong stand for defending life. As your word instructs, we also pray for the leaders of our nation, whether they're Republican, Democrat, or Independent. We know that all authority comes from you. You are a great God. And we ask that if it be thy will that you will make America great once again. And we ask that you'll unite our hearts, bring us together, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we pray this in the mighty name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen.